and uh, you just listen to a young girl who was saying that the Nigerian community here is totally very angry. So be very interested in this point at all. Thank you. Who are you? I am Patrick Nangia from Indian Division, the Kunotiti Subdivision. What do you do in life? I do screen printing, badges, t shirts, banners, signboards. What is it you're holding? Well, this is a, a block. We call it in our technical language a block. Inside this block, we have so many chemicals to produce the writing. Yes. This is just in the middle, really. The, there are some other things before this. You see, as you can see it here, the writing is already here. And how, does, how do we do to, to produce the writing here? It's technically known by, by the technicians. We either use the sun ray, the sun ray, or we use the, the electricity. Eh? When you don't have electricity, like in the uh, city where we have electric failures, you turn the sun ray and produce this block, which you can use in printing, as many as you want. Then this one is called a squeezer. This one you put, you see how it is made, like a circular. Used in making a um, like a sieve, yeah, like a sieve, like a sifter. This way you put the ink. You can put any color of ink you want to suit the the, the the printing. Then you start to squeeze. This is a squeezer. You start to squeeze. You put this block on the surface of the the material. You are printing. As you print, in fact, the writing comes out on the surface of what you are printing until you finish printing. But if you have a machine, you know, use the the labor as I'm trying to explain here. See, this is this is a block. Inside this block, you have about four chemicals to to produce the writing here. What is this you're holding? Uh, this is a this is a paint. This is blue color. We have all colors. Can I see it? Yes, you can see. This is blue color. We have all colors. We have blue, red, green, yellow, black, house blood, all colors. How long can this bottle last? Well, it depends on the on the on the printing. It depends how the image on the printing is. Can take you about this one can give you almost about uh, 50 to 100 t-shirts to print. Then this other one, this other one is uh, the red color, the red ink. This is the red ink. Yes, it looks like you don't have so much to do with the red ink. Yeah, I do, I do. For for now, uh, for for now, this one will be sufficient. But okay. I still have another quantity in the workshop. Okay. Yes. So. What are you doing with this material? Uh, this material, I want to print some badges there. 
for a certain school in Douala. What's the name of the school? The school is uh, Mount Zion. Mount Zion School? Yeah, primary and nursery school in Douala. I have so many of them, so many of the schools. So they are now preparing for the reopening of the academic year. Okay. So they want their badges. As soon as I finish, I should deliver them to the, to, to the school. So this is the material. I want to use this material. Maybe it's I would like you to show me. Yes. Okay. I will show you. See, this is a special fluff. This is. It is here attached to the to the frame. What is the cloth used for? If it, it, without the cloth, you cannot produce this information here. You buy this cloth it's, uh, differently. It's expensive. It's not in the market. It's only in a special place. You did it. Yes, it's expensive. How much you buy? It's expensive, about eighteen thousand something a meter. Okay. So what are you doing now? Right now we are starting to print. The information is going to come out on the material directly. Yes. We are trying to print. The information will come out from the material directly. Because wow. It, because there's no machine. We have to use labor. Okay, go ahead. Yeah. So. There are how many badges you print one after another. Cut before you start to print. For how long have you been doing this business? I'm almost 12 years in the field. And you're sure this business helps you in taking care of your family? Without this business, I would have died for long. Because there's no other thing I can do apart from this. So you love this business a lot? So much. So much. I have every interest in this screen printing. Otherwise, I wouldn't have learned it. It means your back should be very strong. <laughs> or do you do sports? Yes, because because I'm doing it on the floor, not on the table. If you are doing it on the, on the table, you either stand, you not bend. But it means it helps you. It's some kind of a sport. At least it should. It extends because of that breeze. If somebody wants to support you, what are the two most important things you ask of this person? Financially, there are so many ways of supporting. Yes, so what are your two most important things? Or let's say, just list the things you need. If somebody wants to support me for now, because I'm an old man in this field, it's just by finance. 
It's just by finance because I will know the type of materials I'll buy myself. So what if this, this, this support can only be material? The person will not know except I give him a list of the material. What is the best machine so far what, for screen uh, printing? There are so many machines. You have machines in Korea, China. You have machines in America. You have machines in Germany. But we prefer buying machines from Germany because they are, we have a guarantee for them. These machines are very expensive. Don't you think that maybe it's going to be difficult for someone to give you? Uh, yes, that is very true. That is why I still say these machines are expensive. And I don't like somebody to help me with something which is too dear. Which is too dear. And I have to at least there are jobs. Yes, but not something that would be too expensive. So you know about machines that are not expensive? Yes, I know. Can you tell me one? They are, it's only there are trademarks. I don't know. You they could tell know, me the trademarks. I know where I can get them. Machines which are not expensive so much, like a uh, Kema portrait system in Germany. What? Kema? Kema. Kema portrait system in Germany. Yeah. Though I don't know the price for now, but I'm not sure it will be more than a certain price. I'm not sure. Now I'm interviewing you away from your land. You are on your way to Douala. Why are you going to Douala? Because I have most of my customers in Douala. So many of them. And I've stayed in Douala for long, for almost uh, 25 years in Douala. And that is where I started this job, where I have most of my customers. I need them. Some of them are francophones. I need them. And, uh, and things are materialized to produce t-shirts and other things for them. I really can right here and print them and carry them back to Guala. But don't you think that um, young people in your village, in your region that you stay would be interested in learning from this art? They are interested and they somehow they are not interested because when I say like that, I mean when you are doing the job, you take it very mean. I can't say this me that I am printing t-shirts, but they don't know the value. They only want to know you when you have money. So that is not the thing. I want that they should know. Mm -hmm. Thank you, sister. I want that they should know the outcome of screen printing from the beginning to the last. But, so you should not be known only when you have money. No, they should know you from the from the beginning, how you suffer, how you manage to get a customer, and it is not easy to get a customer. But don't you, you think have, don't you think a good step is like you have a school that you train these people and they'll become interested in you? Look, the question the, the question is it is it is not only on the printing section or on the printing side where you think you have no the school printing. No. You start from, from the natures of your patron or your master. How you have to meet a customer, how you clone up the speech until you get an order. So you think it doesn't need formal training or you having a school to do that? It needs a training. That's why I'm telling you, it needs a training. Like this one I'm printing today. I had this order about two months ago. Yesterday, I met this woman. The woman told me she has given the, the order to another person. But the way I approached her, I had to take my order of 500 badges on a price negotiable. Uh, at times, this is one printing, but I've given her two printing, two colors on the T-shirt. This is a torch, showing it is a school. Yes. Which I will apply red on this torch. I see. Uh -huh. So we price on the colors of the ink. Some badges bear about four colors. The price cannot be the same. 
This price cannot be the same. This one is, uh, you know, can I measure the price? No, I cannot. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to measure, mention the price on here. No, no, they'll start to cry. <laughs> so that is how it is. I will give prices on the quantity. When you are high, your quantity is low, you pay high. When your quantity is high, you pay less. So that is how we do it. Okay. Yeah. So, what information have you to say to youths of Cameroon who might be needing your services in the near future? Uh, that is a very good question. In fact, I have got a good number of Cameroonians trying to do or try to learn screen printing from me. And uh, I have promised them to train them. In fact, to put them through, to put them through in the field as I learned my own too. So right now, as regards to my address, I am the director of Arts Academy, which means I can carry on the process of training, training young Cameroonians in this field, if they are interested. If you are not interested, you are not forced to. Uh, I you understand, because there are two things. Being interested and not interested. If you are not interested, somebody cannot force you, just like forcing a camera to drink water. It is impossible. I have to put it through. Are you um, willing that your work is known out of the country? Total known, at least. Yes, I accept that it should be known out of the country. No problem. First of all, you are trained by Nigerian, and now you are supposed to help Cameroonians. It looks like Africa in miniature. That's true. We are all Africans. I was trained by a Nigerian. Yes, and it's gone back to Nigeria, in Douala. Maybe you have something to say to your villagers in your dialect so that they can understand what you've been doing to them. Yes, I know the problem with my people. The thing is, I, feel, I earlier told you that my people want somebody who wears coats every day. But I must give, give them a piece of advice. That is, it is no good idea. You have to struggle before you start to wear the coats. That is what is disturbing our plan. So could you talk in your dialect this thing you just said in English? Yes, why not? Go ahead. Mbao uh, Patrick Nangia. Neba Pepe Ndiyo Mbao Siye Siye Nao. Ndiyo Ndutia Nao Rakeni Mambana Ura Kame Kubu. My Triko. Oma Motawili Sef. Picture I. Oma Rerio Triko. Even somebody dies. I put the pictures on the t-shirt. So, now I talk about Motoko Mwasu. Bana babi yo ama afitili wora ndu teni. Papa mbali kume na no korebo. Ba tambe da kaya kake. Smoto mana wili. Eh o mangwana moko a sionga wana moko pa no kweli. Nyebe ni yomo. Ana roko e good somebody now. So we shall already can there is omo muriki. Mani ti tabanga ta yangweli. Yangweli. So what have you said? Well, I've, I've, I've said that I'm, I'm talking to my people that anybody who is interested should come and meet me. I will teach them how to do this thing. It is not just a question of Book work, book work, book work. Our parents don't have money. Education now, it is money. So we don't have that type of money, in fact, to train our children. I do you understand? Yes. So I'm telling them in my dialect. We're not just focus on education, education, education. On the road, you cannot continue. You cannot go back. You just remain on the, on the, on the, in the middle. Thank you very much for talking to people, places, and events. It has been a revival for people, places, and events. Thank you very much.
well and uh, you just listen to a young girl who was saying that the Nigerian community here is totally very angry So be very interested in this point at all. Well, There's something that needs to be explained. Some lives are meaningful. Some are empty. Lives that are meaningful with too much meaning and riches to offer humankind. You know, after some of these earthly adventures and no more, one can still find footprints of these big lives on the pavements of our contemporary lives. Good evening. You're welcome to the program Green Planet.